What would you say your favorite thing about your boss is? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love the moss here. Man, isn't that cool? This has been going for over 20 years. Somewhere I have a photograph of Chris and Jackie and the children digging. <laughs> so you had the whole family building these back in the day, huh, Chris? Yeah. So this is the yard, huh? Which is what, yep. 250 yards from your house? Yep. How much property do you have here? This is about an acre and a half. All right, so this is where the guys start every morning? Yep, this is where they come in every morning. It's a nice setup. Hey, look at that. It's like they're waiting for us. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Are you getting a late start today because the pond guy's coming into town? Oh, no. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. What would you say the your favorite thing about your boss is? <laughs> All the different things we do. It's not the same any two days, right? Nope. The living sculpture. So you enjoy the art? Oh yeah, definitely. So this is the yard, Chris, and you got a nice pull barn here. Pull the vehicles in. Pretty nice. So you have some storage here, but it's more overflow storage. Yeah. Getting the rocks delivered right to the job site? Yeah. Some of the bigger ones we have. We take a lot, but we have most of them delivered. I love the bumper stickers, buddy, and the license plate. So this is the whole operation. You got a nice pole barn here. 27 years. That is amazing that you have been here that long. We are giving away. You're a do-it-yourselfer. I have a contest for you. I, Greg Whitstock, am be coming to your place if you built an obfuscated ecosystem pond and filming it for my channel, Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy. If you want to win $2,500 and a visit from me checking out your pond, check out the link below and you too could possibly win a visit from the pond guy, $2,500. All you got to do is show us how you built your pond and tell us why you love to live in the aquascape lifestyle. You knew this man when he was a meat cutter. I did, but I don't remember him, but my husband knew him. Chris came in and switched it completely around, and I've been a happy camper ever. And how long ago was that? 20 plus years ago. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I gotta see this pond. Well, come on back. All right, Shirley. Where is it? I don't see it. <laughs> Over here. Oh, what a great location. I'm gonna guess that you spend a lot of time out here, Shirley. It's just absolutely wonderful. Last night I had three of my friends over. We sat out here and had a little quiet dinner and solved the problems of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Wow, I love the moss here. Man, isn't that cool? This has been going for over 20 years. Yeah. And you got some cool fish down there. You got a little fish cave that Chris put in there for you. Yeah. You got the old school classic skimmer here yes. with the net. Yes. This is uh, a couple versions removed from a garbage can that I started with. Is that right? Yes. Wow, this is gorgeous. So what do people say to come over for the first time? Wow, I didn't know this was in your backyard. They're not expecting this. No, right, this not. is a, a good sized backyard, but it's a regular backyard out here. And yet look at this beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. I absolutely love it. So what's the difference between the pond that you originally had and the pond that Chris built you? It, it was half the size and it was narrow. It was not level with the patio. Right. There was no rock and it was kind of a buildup of dirt, dirt of some size. Yeah, they just had a berm around the whole side, so yeah, the berm was all was probably about a foot berm over here. But my biggest thing, remember, they had the biofalls against the house. Yes, it was all. Yeah, the waterfall faced away from the viewing area. But it was touching so, the house, so all the dirt was against that lady's head. Yeah. Oh my! One day we were doing something. I said, "Can I ask you a question?" I said, "Did you ask for that?" She goes, "No." I said, "I don't think I personally want any dirt against my siding." And that's how I got started. And I just said, "You know, so you can flip it." You knew the husband through the work. I had brought him in for a little bit of. I needed some advice on something here. So he came in and took a look at it and he said, why is this down here and all of the, yep. of the extra dirt and the mounds up here at the house? I said, I don't know. And that's a very normal thing. You see a lot of people that have water features that are built incorrectly, right? Yep. What percentage of your work is from water features that are built incorrectly? <laughs> We mentioned it before, probably about 70% of it. Right, but you got it right now. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's been over 20 years, so I would say that's yes. correct. We came back a few years later and we widened it. 
Uh huh. And put bigger rocks. I put bigger rocks there. Isn't that always? People always make them bigger, don't they, Chris? Right. Yep. They never make them smaller. They always make them bigger. Yep. You can't go any further because of the uh, septic tank that's been out there for. Well, it's perfect. It's a perfect little size right next to the thing, and you enjoy it. And when people want to know, how much work is a, a decorative water feature like this, an ecosystem pond? It's not a lot of work. Chris and his crew come in once a month to put the extra bacteria, bacteria, and all in. And then he said, you know. Instead of you watching the calendar once a month, we've got all this down. Why don't we come in and help you out here? This is basically after my husband died. Mm. And I said, that's a really good idea. And so you have your coffee and you enjoy it. I have my coffee and I enjoy it. There you go. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> what I love about showcasing this is they're not a lot of work if it's done correctly and so many people build a water feature and they don't know what they're doing which is why you want a certified aquascape contractor to build your water feature if you're interested in having an aquascape ecosystem pond that's beautiful low maintenance and works with mother nature instead of against her check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you Aww. Jackie, who loves to be on my vlog, and that's her husband, Chris, of Chris's Water Gardens, and this is your very first pond oh, yeah. installation, right? Excellent. So this is 20 plus years ago. Yes. And that is the University of Illinois campus, right there. So she lives about as close to the campus as you could possibly live. It's kind of on campus. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. This is Greg Woodstock, pond guy. Hello, Mrs. Barry. I've heard that uh, you have a beautiful water feature that this man built 20 some years ago. That's right. Wow, let's yeah, check this said. out. Oh, nice meeting you. I've been to your home. You have? Oh, you brought on the bus tour. Did you like my pond? It was really remarkable. Really the room, the theater. <laughs> That's my house. I'll put a link to my house in here. What an eclectic garden. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this. This is an old school aquascape ecosystem water feature. Man, the old biofalls up there, some goldfish down there, beautiful water. So how did you find this young man to build you an aquascape water feature? He was exhibiting at the uh, spring show at the assembly hall, which is now called the State Farm something. Down the road, we're doing a home show. Yep. Yes, that was in 1990. Uh, well, I don't ask me. I can't tell you, I can't tell you what the day is. It was in 2003, I believe. Somewhere I have a photograph of Chris and Jackie and the children digging. <laughs> so you had the whole family building these back in the day, huh, Chris? Yeah. Chris, this was the first installation outside of your own personal pond. Is that correct? It was way bigger because we'd done our little pond was only about that big. And she said she want one. And she kept saying, I said, about like this big? Because she had a little concrete pond here yes. that we have to tear out. Yes. And it was built well to the point I sent three guys up there with sledgehammers they had to go get a uh, jackhammer jack yep it was built well well then she goes no I would like to go bigger I said how big and I, I'd never built one before and I go oh my god how big this big 19 by something yes and then she said she's a big reader she wanted something to muffle up the noise so we brought the waterfall on this end and turned it so well it really works because in the front yard and the side yard it's loud but back here it's very nice you can't hear the traffic yes here. and i sit sometimes on the patio depending on the weather and we I wouldn't give it up for anything. And that's what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. I love my job. And you love your job too, right, Chris? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You never got that reaction when you were cutting lawns, did you? No, never, never. That's right. And this looks like a nice bench to sit on. I was sitting on it this morning. Uh-huh that the weeds were not too visible. <laughs> this has been a terrible summer for weeds. Okay, outside around the pond? Oh, yes. Yeah. And as soon as you clear an area out, you go to another area. <laughs> yes. And then you turn around, and lo and behold, they're there again. So let me ask you this question. What's more maintenance, the garden or the pond? I'm fortunate because I have somebody doing the maintenance. <laughs> and so I don't have that to worry about. It looks spectacular. So once a month, you guys come out here, empty the skimmer bag, add bacteria, trim the lilies. Every Week. A week. Okay. We come here to do because with the pine tree, she gets a lot of needles and that. Yeah, 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 out. yeah. Take care of it. Well, and you just have goldfish, right? Yes. I think that I had some hawks 
and some geese arrived here, and I think my goldfish family decreased. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think they were fishing. And you can hear the traffic sound all in the front, but in the back, it's completely tranquil. That sound of that waterfalls breaks up all that. When you're sitting over there, you cannot hear the busy road right in front. What's so fantastic about this is Chris built this pond 20 years ago and it's still going great. And he's like, we can do this, we can change this. And she goes, why would you change anything? It's absolutely perfect. And that's what I love about it. I love the fact that every water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. And people that got ecosystem ponds 20 years ago are still enjoying them today. Hey, if you're interested in living the aquascape lifestyle yourself, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. I love my art.